We're here at the Dick Sweet Sabbath Team Race Series. This is Regatta 1 of 3 throughout the summer. So we're here in Alamitas Bay. So Ryan, tell me a little bit about your, your pre-race prep with your team. It's three of you out there. How are you communicating um, prior to a race? Basically, we have this uh, pre-race meeting and we just decide what we're doing like for the start. Because the start is very crucial for a uh, crucial course like this. Um, basically, we figure out where we're starting and how we're going to start. Like, for example, one of our teammates, uh, was, uh, I was going to clear out the boat end of the line, and one of my, uh, my teammates was going to come through with the boat at a zero of like, full speed so we could tack out and go to the favorite end of the, starting line, uh, to the, favorite end of the course. Um, yeah. Is it important to all be on the same page before a race? Definitely. We all know exactly what the plan is. That's crucial. If we don't, then we all, we're all doing different things, and that doesn't... We've seen that before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not very good. Jimmer, how are you how are you prepping the team in the morning to look forward for the whole day? Uh, we are scouring through our sailing instructions and reading them to the team, um, going over boat prep, making sure our boats are set up, and generally making sure everyone's in good spirits and working well together. That's pretty much more important than anything else. It's about tactics, and so team racing need really good um, tacks. So I, I feel like I've improved on my tax routine racing and spawning out shifts and making sure my boat speed is really, really fast. Well, you want to communicate on what position they are in, what play you're in, what they should and shouldn't be doing. So, like I was telling you, being my teammate, to not get in tacking duels because that's slowing us down. I've been team racing for four years. Yeah, four years, and basically the boat maneuvering that uh, team racing um, that requires is really beneficial beneficial for like uh, regular fleet racing because it helps you like do spe uh, specific maneuvers um, like around marks and uh, during start uh, pre start scene, uh, like probably helps your reaction time. Yeah, other reacting like situations. One thing you gotta think about is communicating and seeing what each other are doing together. Whereas team racing, you need to think about yourself and just think the, you just gotta think, go get go fast. Whereas here, you don't always wanna go fast and play tracks and stuff like that. I still think that regattas at this uh, at this level are still in preparation, getting you ready for bigger regattas later in life. So it's not necessarily about the win; it's about challenging yourself and putting yourself in situations that you can get better from uh, later. It's just a way to work together and practice more. Yeah, and it's just good practice sailing with the people you're going to grow up with for the rest of your life.